During a recent episode of her podcast, Marjorie Taylor Greene told her audience that climate change, global warming, increased carbon in the atmosphere wasn't just a good thing, but it was actually healthy for people. Take a look at Marjorie Taylor Greene, who goes without saying is not a scientist, but giving us her scientific evaluation of climate change. Here it is. Hmm. We've already warmed one degree Celsius. And do you know what's happened since then? Here, let me tell you, we have had more food grown since mm. then, which feeds people. We are able to, producing fossil fuels keeps people's houses warm in the winter. That saves people's lives. People die in the cold. Right. This, this, this earth warming and, and, and carbon is, is actually healthy for us. It, it, it is it's able it helps us to feed people it helps keep people alive it helps there's the earth is more green than it was um years and years ago and that's because of the earth warming that's because of carbon because you know i spent many years as a writer blogger for a uh, smog blog doing research on these massive projects you know working to counter the misinformation coming from the fossil fuel industry and the politicians they fund. And every now and then during the years I was doing that, you'd come across a politician who'd go out there and try to tell you that climate change is a good thing. You know, it's going to open up new shipping routes in the Arctic. It's going to take less time for your goods to get from point A to point B. Things are going to be cheaper because of that. And there's going to be more oceanfront property or whatever the idiotic talking point was at the time. And now it's nice to see that Marjorie Taylor Greene has carried on in that tradition of those classical Republicans trying to tell us that, hey, yeah, we're killing the planet, but it's totally going to be awesome. And as usual, she is wrong about every single thing that she says. Estimates show us, according to research, that an estimated 5 million people die prematurely each year as a result of climate change itself. Now that, of course, includes deaths from pollution. It includes deaths from famine. Uh, deaths from drought, deaths from flood, deaths from extreme weather events, all linked to climate change. So uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and say that 5 million people a year dying from this, Marjorie, not exactly healthy. Then, of course, you have the economic costs that come along with all of those deaths and, of course, all of the destruction from the extreme weather events, globally estimated to be about $2 trillion per year. So... We're not, we're not saving any money either. We're losing a lot of money, $2 trillion globally, 5 million people globally per year. That's a pretty hefty cost. Then of course, as you say, as we put more carbon out there, it's going to be good for us. It's going to be good for plants. We're going to grow lots of crops, you say. Eh, not exactly how it works, Marjorie. Because if that were how it worked, then we wouldn't be seeing the warming that we're seeing now, right? All the, the plants and the, the phytoplankton would be sucking it all up, right? We see there's more carbon than they can suck up. It's like if you put a person in a room and just pump pure oxygen in there, not going to help them. In fact, that's, that's actually kind of bad to do. It can actually kill them. There's more than is necessary, more than is needed. And that of course is actually why it builds up in the atmosphere. I can't believe I'm having to explain just basic science here, but that's what you get when you have somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene. Global warming, climate change, whatever you want to call it, increased carbon in the atmosphere is not going to make anybody healthier. It is in fact going to make people sicker. It is going to uh, make diseases deadlier. It is going to make them spread far more easily. It's going to lead to droughts that are going to lead to massive crop shortages. And we're actually looking between the years 2030 and 2050, it's estimated that an additional 500,000 people per year are going to die as a result of climate change, reducing the amount of food available for people. This is all basic research, folks. It's readily available. Anybody who chooses to seek out true information can do it. And I'm imagining the people that tune in to Marjorie Taylor Greene's podcast on a regular basis aren't the kind of people that are going to go out there and actually do research, which of course is why we have to sit here wasting our time debunking her idiotic talking points because God knows her audience is definitely going to believe whatever comes out of her stupid mouth. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.